Well, it's been a few weeks since um, we've been in the greenhouse, but um, the weather was kind of crappy and we were on vacation. And so I thought that I'd give you an update on the how the pollination went with the amaryllis um, that we were pollinating in one of the last videos. Um, and then I'm gonna unpot them because they're done blooming and give them the bulbs a good inspection and give them some clean um, compost. This is just a uh, potting soil and peat moss mix that I do um, when I'm doing seed starting and stuff. So these guys really haven't had that much nutrients um, growing and they're just some blooming. So I wanna give them something um, a little bit more nutritious, but this is the, um, baby one that we've been growing on for a few seasons now. It's gotten pretty big, got a couple of leaves and there is a new leaf coming in. So that's looking good. I think I might stake that up. I don't think I'm gonna unpot this one, but now that it's been outside a little bit right today, I'm going to give it a little stake. I don't like the leaves being all floppy. That's personal personal preference. Um, I like to just, sorry the dog's barking at somebody going by. That's just personal preference. The neighbor's got a new dog over the winter and They've been barking at each other because they haven't seen each other well through the fence. But so there's always a barking contest going on between the two now. Um, so we'll leave that one as is, but it's gotten, I don't know if you remember how tiny it was when we took it off of the, I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one, the apple blossom. So this is the one that we use as the mother plant because the Minerva was blooming about a month before this one. So I saved the pollen and refrigerated it. Um, there's a technique that you can use in freezing it too. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna freeze the rest of the pollen that I have and you try and use that on future blooms, but it didn't take, they aborted, which I had been reading in some forums that apple blossom, can be pretty tricky to pollinate. Um, they like to try to abort, which is fine. It was fun to try. I had tried pollinating it last winter when it was blooming inside. I hope that they bloom at the same time and bees pollinate them. That's really what I want, but um, of course, they bloom most of the time indoors, but that's okay. Too. These these stakes are um, just garden material that I save. I save all of the stems and stuff from things that this um, is a sunflower stalk, and those are big, so I use those on my tomatoes. Um, but the little ones, um, this is. Um, bomb. These are perfect for house plants because they're not too tall and they're so hard. All right, I'm gonna cut the bloom stalk. This is the bloom stalk. I'm gonna cut that off because <clears throat> the plant doesn't need to try and keep that alive anymore. All right, there we go. Throw that in my compost that I have here. And then I'm not gonna cut the leaves. A lots of times I'll just cut the leaves. Um, I'm just gonna dump this in the compost bucket I have here. Well, I thought I was going to, but wow, the roots look 
really good. It's a little chilly out today, so. Well, it's not chilly. I think it's in the 40s, but. My nose keeps running. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanna, I don't know if I should take off all of the dirt, but I kinda wanna see if the, we have any baby bulbs. get a good look at roots, cut anything that, you know, looks, yeah, there's some, a bunch of dead stuff, there's a lot of new growth too, but there's some dead stuff I want to, uh, I'm not sure what all that is, almost looks like roots, it almost looks like roots, but I'm wondering, they're so fine. Uh, I'm trying to think if I used some like moss in here. I don't think that I did. Yeah, no, that is, that's root growth. It was like right, it was in the, in the middle here, but it's all um, mushy. So I don't know if it got too wet and those rotted, but we'll take them out. We'll just gently take that stuff out. There's a bunch of, there's a ton of good new root growth anyway, so that's fine. So just um, going through, picking out the mushy old roots, and there's uh, quite a bit that happens, but I think that, and there's a ton of new good healthy stuff, so <clears throat> just examine all that and repot it. There. that looks really good okay let me um just clean off this um and i'll be right back all right got that cleaned up got um a few inches of good clean compost i make my own um, but you can certainly buy it Nestled back down in there. And... 
I just need a scoop. I'll keep these outside now. I'll probably bring them in the greenhouse here. Um, this is in a heated greenhouse, so it will um, go down to the temperatures that it is at night. It warms up pretty good during the day when the sun's out. Uh, I noticed last week, if the sun was out, it was getting up into the 80s and inside the greenhouse if I kept it closed up. Um, but at least if it, um, gets a frost or something it'll give them protection they're not going to be super happy out here but i'm high i need to make some room for my other house plants they were getting um they've been crowded all winter and they're all on like this one shelf and all. so i just wanted to get them spread out and get some breathing room and they never come outside um those ones but i was also out here messing around and I took off some cuttings from my Christmas cactus. Um, I have little leaf um, babies growing on my windowsill above my sink. And most of them, four out of the six, have little leaves coming out. But these ones are bigger stems. I noticed there's a lot of roots growing. You'll see if you have a Christmas cactus what I'm talking about. Uh, below the leaves um there'll be roots uh that grow and you can just snap it off and put it in some dirt it really is so easy to propagate them and they're so easy to grow um i'd never really grown them before but i think they're a lot of fun <laughs> and they're pretty this winter um uh, they were blooming at christmas uh, around christmas <clears throat> i think they stopped at Christmas, but, so they were like around Thanksgiving. And this is, I know you have Thanksgiving cactuses and Easter and all that, but it, this is a Christmas because of the leaf form. It was just blooming around Thanksgiving. I can go over that too. If you're, if you're interested in house plants, I don't know. So let's stake this up. I like the leaves and stuff to be staked up because most of the time these are in the house and the leaves are just so floppy that it just gives me more room. To, you know, this one out on the table and I'll be right back. Okay, we got cleaned up, went in and got some warm tea. It's just a little chilly. Um, and let's do the second one. This one, the leaf had broken before 
I staked it up. I thought that I would leave them, but I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. so I like them staked up. And like I said, that's personal preference. It doesn't mean that you have to. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm, I was going to just leave them and let them grow through the summer and then unpot them and examine them, but I'm glad that I'm doing it now because this one has, it's like all of the fine roots. Just rotted. I think that they maybe got too wet. This one doesn't have as much. No bulbs growing off of it. seemed like it had more root rot than the other one. Which is, that was interesting. So I'm glad we took them apart, to be honest. All right. Let me put a few inches of dirt. Of dirt, compost. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but when I'm potting these up, I you, you can either put it the soil halfway up the bulb itself or you can go just about to the shoulder this one isn't a huge bulb so it's hard to tell so um you know where it starts to get narrow the, that's the shoulder you can just go up to that again how deep you plant it um is personal preference and I do that according to how big or small the bulb is. Like this one, I didn't put it far at all. I planted it almost like onions, just the roots itself because it was so tiny when we were potting it on. So, all right, where am I?
Real compost. Sticks. So that should be good. I don't hit one by accident I'm trying to put the stick down there. There. They look really good now. I don't um, we haven't done an update on um, the potatoes that we planted. So let me see if I can, can I turn this around? Hold on. All right, these are the potatoes that we planted um, a month ago now. See, they're coming up. Now we're gonna cover them with another few inches of soil compost. And then these ones <laughs> and down there that's my cart that I put beside the um, driveway and I have a little driveway uh, plant sale little nursery sale yeah so check on back and we'll um, Maybe I'll show you how I set my um, driveway sale up. See you next time in the greenhouse.